Welcome to La Mia Italy, a series of short videos by a Brit with Italian blood who's lived in Britain and Italy and loves them both. There are some lives that seem to sum up the history of a country, and that's the case for Italian television's most famous presenter, Mike Bongiorno. Mike Bongiorno was everywhere on Italian television for decades, a bit like Terry Wogan or Graham Norton. Mike was born in New York in the 1920s to Italian emigrants. As was fairly common, around a third of Italian migrants returned to Italy. He returned to Italy as a child and had started working in newspapers when the Second World War started. He joined the Italian resistance after the Nazi occupation following the armistice of 1943 and his fluent English enabled him to act as an intermediary between the Allies and the Partisans. However, he was captured by the Gestapo and was lined up to be shot, but the Germans were reluctant to kill an American citizen in that way. Instead, he spent seven months in San Vittore prison in Milan, the first two months in solitary confinement, and it was there in captivity he came to know Indro Montanelli, the great Italian journalist and newspaper editor of the next 50 years. After San Vittore, he was moved to the Mauthausen concentration camp in Austria and was eventually liberated, half-starved, before the end of the war as part of an exchange of American and German prisoners. After the war, he joined the Italian state broadcaster Rai and was on air on the first official day of broadcasting in 1954, as well as being the first journalist to interview President Eisenhower in Italy. But his path to fame was as the man who introduced Italians to game shows, or telequiz, such as Beat the Clock and Wheel of Fortune during the economic boom years. But it was more than that. He was part of the very creation of the modern Italy, with regional differences being moderated by national television. Those that didn't have televisions at home would have watched him in the bars and cafes. He was so famous that Umberto Eco wrote an essay in 1961, La Phenomenologia di Mike Bongiorno, in which he talked about television and the dumbing down of the masses, while acknowledging that Mike did not make ordinary Italians feel inferior. In the 1980s, he moved to Silvio Berlusconi's private TV network and did more of the same for another 20 years. His popularity was probably helped by his frequent and endearing gaffes, often involving double entendre, which many suspected he'd prepared in advance. He died in 2009 at the age of 85, was given a state funeral by Silvio Berlusconi, who was Prime Minister, and was interred in a family tomb near Milan. Although his story doesn't end there, his coffin and body were stolen a couple of years later and eventually found in a stream. No ransom was received and the motive is unknown. He also left behind the charitable foundation, Casa Allegria. Mike Bongiorno is part of the history of modern Italy and his life story is in many ways that of the country itself migration, war, economic boom, and television, with an element of mystery and tragedy. I hope you found the video interesting. I'll be doing more along similar lines, so I'd invite you to subscribe. In the meantime, in bocca al lupo, and I'll see you soon.